I'm Claire Stapley from Corteva AgriScience and in this short video I'm going to go back to basics on one of the most important active ingredients for all seed rape crops, propizamide. Many of you will already be really familiar with our herbicides AstroCurb, CurbFlow and CurbFlow 500, but over the next few minutes I want to emphasise how using these products which contain propizamide should be done at the right rate, in the right conditions and at the right time to improve its efficacy and consistency on farm. The information will also help you to ensure the active is kept where it should be, in the field, controlling weeds and not getting into water. Propizamide is a selective, systemic herbicide primarily used in allseed rape. It controls key grass weeds such as blackgrass and ryegrass. There is no known resistance in Europe to propizamide, which makes it a key tool to help manage weeds which have become resistant to alternative chemistry. Here's Sally Edgerton to explain more about how it works. Propizamide works by moving into the soil root zone, where it is then absorbed by the weed's roots and translocated throughout the plant. In frosty conditions, plants such as blackgrass may produce adventitious roots, which absorb propizamide from the surface layers of the soil. Under these conditions, excellent control can be achieved despite plants being well established and deeply rooted. You can see a list of the weeds propizamide controls on the screen now. As Claire said, when it comes to applying propizamide, it's about using the active at the right rate, in the right conditions, at the right time. For control of blackgrass, we advise applying 750 grams active per hectare for good control, or 840 grams in areas with heavy blackgrass populations. This relates to one and a half litres per hectare or 1.7 litres per hectare of AstroCurb or CurbFlow 500. The optimum soil temperature for propizamide applications is 10 degrees Celsius at 30 centimetres depth and declining. There needs to be sufficient moisture in the soil to move the chemical into the root zone. This soil temperature requirement usually relates to application dates in late October to early December because this is when soil temperatures are typically falling consistently. In order to get a good residual layer for robust control, the conditions need to be right. But don't wait too long, as if blackgrass plants are too big, it can give poorer results. This chart shows the relationship between application timing and dose rate versus how well blackgrass was controlled. It supports that late October to early December window with significantly less control in September, early October and January. Our decision support tool, Curb Weather Data, will help you keep track of the best time to apply. You can access this tool on the Corteva Arable app and it's free to use. So how can you tell if your application of propizamide has worked? The root tips will appear club-shaped or swollen. Affected weeds that have emerged will slow or stop growing and will initially look stunted, followed by a yellowing of leaves and necrosis. The meristem at the stem base is typically swollen. This is caused by cell growth continuing, but cell division being stopped. Affected plants can also have a dull appearance and will sometimes redden in colour. So if you think your propizamide application hasn't worked, remember plant death is slow and can take as much as 12 weeks or more. When using propizamide, it's essential that all seed rape growers consider what action they can take to protect watercourses. After heavy rain, there is a risk of propizamide being washed into surface water. Although typically only a small percentage of the applied propizamide is lost and it doesn't have an effect on the aquatic environment, it can present a challenge to water companies when they're producing drinking water. 
They must ensure that drinking water contains less than 0.1 microgram per litre of any pesticide. This equates to approximately 100 grains of sugar in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Field selection, tramline placement and buffer zones can all play a vital role in reducing this risk, along with the normal precautions when loading and washing down the sprayer. Farmers should aim to grow all seed rape on low-risk fields that don't slope to watercourses. Appropriate establishment, direction of working travel, soil type and topography all need to be considered by each individual farmer. You should check that your planned all seed rape fields aren't in a safeguard zone on the Environment Agency website. If there is a high risk of herbicides moving into watercourses, reconsider. During application, don't apply propizomide to cracked, dry or saturated soils if heavy rainfall is predicted within 48 hours. Curb weather data can again help you to make this decision. Propizomide works best when applied to cold, moist soils. This must be balanced with the need to protect water. Again, remember the key three things about propizomide application. You need the right rate, in the right conditions and at the right time. Only use the maximum rate of 840 grams of active ingredient per hectare for severe cases of black grass. Soils should be at 80% field capacity, which is one to two and a half centimetres of moisture and soil temperature should be at a maximum of 10 degrees centigrade and declining. Finally, remember that propizomide should be applied between the 1st of October and the 1st of February, but is most effective between late October and early December. I hope you found this information useful. There are a number of places you can go to find out more or seek advice on how to get the best out of propizomide containing products. Go to www.corteva.co.uk forward slash propizomide or ring the technical hotline on 0800 689 8899.